Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, you know what time it is. So welcome back to my little corner of Jackie Ina's internet. It is another speed build. I was feeling a little froggy this week, so I decided to get back into building. Um, well, let's tell the truth, Pixie. For one, um, I am at a writer's block can you be at a writer's block i'm having a little bit of writer's block when it comes to my calendar girl series and if you guys have been watching my channel for long you know that season one of journey to redemption has ended so i don't want to give any spoilers out there for those of you who have been watching and haven't gotten caught up or haven't watched the series but it does end with a bang and we're hoping to bring it back with uh, a bang as well i i think i'm gonna wait till university releases however um I have a little more time in my hands to deal with Calendar Girl, but I just can't um, wrap my head around what I want to do with her. Um, I will keep the spoilers down to a minimum, but uh, her dating situation is a little stagnant, and this is something that is beyond uh, Harmony's... Um, scope of knowledge because she hasn't been in this situation in a long time so she's trying to wrestle with what to do uh, and I'm wrestling with the storyline and I just don't want to put any just anything out there because I care about what you guys are watching and I care about you I'm not gonna feed you junk so I'm taking my time and I hope you guys don't mind being patient with me. So while I'm processing and brainstorming, I decided to get the creative juices flowing and uh, give you guys a, a speed build today. Also, I am playing around with my cast videos. I hope you guys are enjoying that because um, I've decided to uh start role playing as dj pixelated twix you know you guys favorite nighttime dj and i am getting a little creative with the format so i hope you guys are enjoying that as well um but yeah so let's talk about this speed build it's called sonoma sanctuary and i did put it out on twitter because i wasn't sure what i wanted to name it and i got two good names from keo sims and techno babble and I have those names put on ice for a couple more of my bills because I was really enjoying those. So um, I, Sonoma Sanctuary just came to me because it, it just seems to fit this build. Now, I have it in Newcrest. This is not a Newcrest home, I don't think. I guess it could fit in Newcrest. Um, it doesn't... I guess living in an area where you see a lot of houses like this uh, growing up, all houses did not fit in the neighborhood. Everyone, every house had its own personality. Nowadays, you kind of see these cookie cutter homes. Not so much when I was growing up. So that was my thought process while I was building this. Well, it doesn't look like it exactly fits in Newcrest, but I feel like the people that live here um, kind of march to their own drum beat. Now, this house is actually up for rent uh, and I'm trying something new. And if you guys follow Unique Simmer, uh, she did something similar to this on her channel. Uh, well, it'll be last week because I'm uploading this on Monday. And so actually we were both thinking the same thing. I wanted to start uh, including builds that were unfurnished, but looked move-in ready. Like if you were to buy a house, it would not come with furniture, but you would probably, we would obviously see a sink, a cabinet, and sometimes if you make a 
bargain with the owners you can uh, purchase the appliances and things like that but this property is up for rent not for purchase because the family that lives here or well used to live here could not um, put it on the market they had way too many memories but they wanted to relocate to Brindleton Bay the family that lived here were outdoorsy, uh, they enjoyed nature, and uh, they enjoyed their peace and quiet. You can kind of tell by the house, it's very homey, very inviting, but it also looks very woodsy, um, very natural, and so uh, to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city, they decided to transplant themselves in Brindleton Bay, but hold on to their their happy home uh, out here in Newcrest because like I said it was just wait there were way too many memories and just selling a house or selling this house would have broken their hearts how many of you guys can how many of you can relate to this because I can my childhood home um, my parents sold it and um, every now and then when I go back home I'll go drive by and it's so bittersweet to see someone else living there and sometimes I just want to knock on the door and you know say hey I used to live here I grew up in this house do you mind if I come look around it's kind of weird I know I know um but I do that also um there's another house I grew up in I remember quite clearly um and it was on the other side of town not a great side of town by the way but I would venture over there to drive by and I'm like oh I remember that birch tree or uh, I remember that little pathway I used to take to get to the neighbor's house and well it was just a very diverse neighborhood that I grew up in so um, I kind of miss that I really do yeah so uh the memory so i can kind of understand no i can very well relate to the family that lived here um how they just did not want to let go of this house so instead they decided to rent it because they always have the option of moving back should they uh, not like Brendleton Bay but a little birdie told me that uh they are certainly enjoying the ocean breezes the fresh seafood and the nosy neighbors that uh that makes up Brindleton Bay neighborhood I actually love that area um it does kind of remind me of the east coast um or I guess Maine I'm not familiar with Maine but I live on the east coast so yeah it reminds me completely of um uh, Connecticut and uh, I wouldn't say Jersey but I would definitely say Connecticut New Hampshire uh, Maine all those little states in between Maine and and uh, Jersey New York uh, PA Maryland blah 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 okay um, but I love the area because I have um, you guys are about to learn something about me. I love lighthouses. Uh, it's a really random thing, but I don't know. I am just in love with lighthouses. And uh, yeah, um, I've always wanted to um, see one up close and personal, but I haven't been able to. But one of these days, I'm going to. One of these days, if I have to drive all the way up to Maine, uh, I will see a lighthouse and I'll get up close because um, I love the ocean. I don't like living by the ocean because all the hurricanes and stuff, but I love to um just be out there to visit and hang out and smell the ocean breeze and it doesn't smell that great uh it really doesn't but uh I don't know it's just that feeling I am more of a country girl myself but um you know it's nice to visit the coast every now and then too so that was the vibe that I was getting here with them not the exactly the East Coast or not yeah the East Coast vibe but I was getting the natural woodsy um, just natural vibe of um, 
of the mountains, maybe. Yeah, the woods, the mountains, maybe Montana or um, Nebraska, even maybe Alaska. I don't know. Never been there. Always wanted to go to that place too. My aunt took a seven day cruise. Was it seven days or 14 days? I can't remember, but she loved it. And I've always wanted to visit Alaska. I have some crazy places that I want to visit. Not the norm place. You know, some people are like, oh, I want to visit the island, man. No, I want to visit like Edinburgh or, um, I don't know, uh, Give me something weird. Edinburgh, I think, is is pretty strange. Inverness. These are historical places. I'm kind of a historical nerd. And then just Alaska. Alaska would just seem really cool, literally, to visit. Um, and even like... Um, Montana. Why? Because I've always wanted to have my own cabin in the woods. And there's probably like two or three people that live in Montana. Uh, sorry for anybody that lives in Montana that watches me. I'm just kidding. Your state is gorgeous. Uh, this is from a girl who lived out by the farms of Illinois uh, with the corn and the woods and the bugs <laughs> and uh, digging trenches and the dirt. Uh, literally painting my face with mud and acting like I was G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. You guys are learning a little too much about me right now. But that's the type of girl I was. I was the dirty muddy uh scratched up legs always bleeding because I you know had open wounds sorry I didn't mean to hit the mic um my mom was just like oh my gosh uh what <laughs> what is this child uh she used to love putting me in dresses and I hated it I was such a tomboy now I'm kind of like a, a good mixture of tom tomboy and girly so, uh, I, I am a nice balance. <laughs> All right. So back to this build <sighs> enough about me. Um, so yeah, so this house is not furnished. Um, I can upload a furnished version to the gallery if you'd like. That being said, it is on the gallery as of today, um, or has been, uh, since Sunday. Um, I'm recording this on a Sunday, so I put it up today and it is unfurnished. However, the bathrooms are complete. The kitchen is complete uh, and there's wallpaper and all that stuff. However, uh, this is a move in ready home and you decorate it to your um, enjoyment because again, this is me role playing as a, well, the house is role playing as a rental and um, you, of course, when you, you rent a house, it doesn't come with furniture usually. Uh, sometimes houses come furnished, but this one doesn't. And, uh, but all the appliances are there, has a laundry and the classified uh, or the, the article or ad in the classified section reads that all utilities are the tenant's responsibility but they did uh, provide the appropriate appliances for you. Isn't that great? Yes, yes. Uh, this took me a long time, I will say. <laughs> Without furnishing this house, this took entirely too long. I think I was distracted. My ADD was at 200% today. No joke. I could not get it together. Um, I was just all off the rails today. I don't know what it was, but um, I had to finish this today. So I started it last night, Saturday, and I finished it um, probably, I want to say I woke up about three o'clock this morning because of the time change. It screwed me up. So I've been awake since three o'clock, three o'clock Sunday morning, and I probably finished this around nine o'clock and um, I'm editing this. Oh, it's probably close to seven my time. And I was like, you know what? This has to go out. Even though I was a little lazy today, I won't lie. I was playing Minecraft and <laughs> I got carried away. Uh, shout out to Cosmic Mermaid and Melanin Sims 2000 for 
yucking it up with me. I had a great time. Um, it actually relaxed me because again, my ADD was on 10 today and I was just like, what is wrong with me? I can't get it together. The cup of coffee that I had today did help. Normally coffee calms me down and lets me focus, but, um, I I probably should have drank about three cups of coffee. So yeah, Um, but I had a good time and I realized, oh shoot, I've got to cook dinner and I need to go ahead and um, edit this video and get it uploaded to present itself on Monday. So you guys, I am pushing it today, but uh, I definitely wanted to get this out and look, I'm not rushing through it. This is something that I'm taking my time to uh, sit down and record and have a conversation with you, even though you're not here to talk back. I hope that you'll talk to me in the comment section. Don't be shy. Talk to me. I don't bite. I promise. I promise. Um, But yeah, have a conversation with me. Talk to me. Um, Ask me questions. Uh, What do you want to know? I'm not going to tell you all my business because... you know, I'm a little private, but you know, I like to have a little fun and share some of my hobbies and things like that. Um, but you guys don't need to know everything about me, right? <laughs> I already invite you in my home sometimes, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys would like this bill. Now I did break some rules with the, um, the, the landscaping. I realize that some people really try to keep the plants and things like that native to the area. Again, this house breaks all the rules. I don't necessarily believe in keeping plants native unless they cannot survive in the uh, the uh, the weather. But Brindleton Bay is a very uh, temperament temperamental temperament uh climate so i think temperate that's what i'm looking for temperate client uh, temperate <laughs> what I'm, th- I'm thinking i'm saying temperamental client uh temperate climate cl- okay <laughs> climate climate so <laughs> get it together um so i figure these plants will be just fine now the tree the, the red tree is actually from um island living but oh well I love the red it was perfect for this build so just pretend like that's not uh, a a tropical tree this is something that'll be um, I don't know what kind of tree that would be we had a tree back home a couple of these trees that were red like a maroon red they weren't trees they were like big large bushes and they were so pretty They they would be green in the spring And as uh, time went on and the weather started to get warm um, or warmer, they would turn a really dark, um, almost purple color. Gorgeous, gorgeous bushes. And we had those around the house. So that's kind of what I was looking for. Only these are just obviously red. But work with me, guys. I'm using my imagination. Isn't that what The Sims is about? Use your imagination. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, You don't see this now, but uh, why do I sound nervous? I'm not nervous. You don't see this now, but I did add a she shed in the back. Uh, someone burned down my she shed. Um, you do see that in the back later in the video. And it's not, okay, it's not a she said. Ooh, it's not a she shed <laughs> per se. You can use it for anything you want. Um, but that was what that was. And I thought about originally making it a very large uh, playhouse, but it ended up being a little bigger than I intended. So I was like, oh, this is Sheila She Shed. Um, so that's what I made it. And so you can use it for whatever you want. You can make it a... Um, an office. There is office space in this build on the first floor, but you can change it into a very small room. The steps that you see here that leads up into that little small office area, it's probably too tiny for a bedroom. Um, But you can also use that house in the back as a guest house. 
Um, yeah, it's big enough to make a guest house. You can put a little mini kitchen in it or like a little studio would be perfect for something like that. So yeah, so many, so many things you can do. So many rooms for, uh, so much room for activities, uh, in this build. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy doing this. It was a little different. Um, I did grab some in inspiration from a house that I saw on, Google and I went with it. It's it, it doesn't quite look like it at all, but I always like to just look at something to get an idea um and then I go with it and I just let my imagination do the the talking or walking or whatever and yeah this is what I came up with I hope you guys like it uh, I certainly do and again if this is something that you would rather have furnished let me know in the comments and I can certainly oblige and apply upload that to the gallery now it won't happen immediately but I can certainly work on that um, sometime next weekend maybe this week because I don't have a lot planned I do have a cast video coming up and I will definitely be um, working in my notebook with um, some calendar girl um, I don't know storylines I'm gonna have to work on a, a couple writing prompts uh, if you're a writer you know what those are uh, if you're not familiar with a writing prompt basically it's a word or phrase that helps you helps kind of uh, jog that creative block. Uh, so usually it's a word for me and I'll go from there. I used to do this exercise called, um, is it 24 words daily? And I would write a storyline in 24 words or less. Usually it's, it's 24. Uh, and it's difficult if to get an actual story in 24 words. Um, but it helped a lot. So I could get back into doing that to kind of help me get through this block. Um, I hate that I haven't been able to um, post anything for Harmony. I know some of you guys are really enjoying uh, her LP and I really enjoy recording and playing her story out on the screen. So she definitely is coming back. I promise you guys, I have not dropped Harmony out, off on the street. I can't do that to your girl. Uh, she's special to me, just like Tatiana. And you guys, I can't wait to get back into Tatiana's story because that that storyline means so much to me right now. Um, I'm super excited about it. Yeah, it was kind of dramatic. And I'll tell you, I was extremely, extremely emotional um, recording that last episode. I literally had my eyes were tearing up. My stomach was in knots. I was nervous. Um, it wasn't expected. I, it, you know, that I have, uh, MC command center in my game. So it pushes the progression of your stories. And so I kind of just let MC command do his thing. Most of the time, well, you can't, you, you kind of can't help, help, but to let it do its thing. And that's fine. Um, it, keeps me uh alert and on the fly um or you know telling stories on the fly so actually enjoy that a lot um, I'm a better writer than I am a speaker as you can probably see I get so tongue-tied but um I'm working on that I took debate classes <laughs> and speech classes but uh yeah I'm no no orator you won't see me running for anybody's office political office anytime soon um I am definitely a background girl I guess that's what writers writers are usually kind of strange and not very social uh I am a bit of an introvert I won't lie um but not all the way. I love to socialize um, in the right setting. And if I'm around people that are cool, you know, I like cool people, um, whatever that means. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah. Oh, you guys, let me know if you're liking the, um, the way I'm doing the cast videos now. Um, I did want to try something different and if you haven't checked them out, please do. Um, I super appreciate, super appreciate. I really appreciate, um, when I get a little feedback on what I'm doing. So I know if I'm going in the right direction, I definitely don't want to release any content that people are not enjoy. But if the masses are saying, yeah, thumbs up cool we're we're doing we're doing good um but you know what i'm ever so humble for anybody that sits down and watches anything that i upload because you don't have to do it you don't have to take time out of your day to watch me to listen to me uh to hit the like button to share um it's it's amazing because i'm literally doing this because I just want to interact with people. Um, even though I don't get to interact with people every day, um, I can, well, physically, but I can um, have a little fun online with people that watch my YouTube videos, talk to me on Twitter, uh, play with me in game, whatever. Um, I'm not always available because I work a lot of hours but um, when I can sit down and chit chat for a little bit, um, I enjoy the, the feedback and the, uh, the back and forth. It's good conversation. Um, I've met a lot of cool people, good people, and uh, made some really some amazing friendships doing this. So I hope to continue and I really hope to continue to grow. I, also, I want to welcome all the new subscribers to my channel. You guys are freaking amazing. The ones that have been there with me from the get-go. I love you so much. And yeah, we're not going to get into that because I will start tearing up and I don't want to ugly cry. <laughs> I might scare you all the way. Um, but yeah, so that's it guys. That's all I have for you today. I don't want to keep this too long. Um, this is going to be a long video. I think it's like 30 minutes or more. I tried to cut it down, but again, this took me longer to build, um, and not furnish than most of the houses that I build and furnish. Probably because this was a bigger home, um, and my houses are getting bigger and bigger. But I don't want to get a house, make a house that's too large because I personally, I love watching people build large homes. Personally, I don't like playing uh, in large home, large homes because Sims get lost and it takes them forever to get to where they're going. Um, by the time they get out the door, it's nighttime <laughs> when they woke up and just took a shower at 6 a.m. By the time they get to the door, it's dinner time uh, because because the house is so big. Uh, but I do like a medium size house. I think this is a good medium size house, I guess. So uh, anyways, I do hope you guys enjoy this. This is available on the gallery. You can find me at the Pixelated Twix. It is in the description box below. Also make sure you check the description box. There's always some little goodies um, link there. And I have some friends that I would love for you guys to meet and check their channels out. They're amazing, they're, they're creative, and I love them. So please do check them out. Anyways, uh, before I go, if you're not, if you're not a member of the family and you've made it this far, you're a cool one and we want to hang out with you. So please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload. I usually upload at least three times a week. I haven't been consistent with that uh, within the last week, but I promise you, I usually upload at least three times a week. So you'll be seeing my face again. All right, guys, until next time, ciao.
doesn't love you back I'll take my time I'll be fine These feelings will fade away I'll take my time I'll be fine These feelings will fade away If I stay one more night Will you be by my side? What? 
watching but it's so hard to get to you cause when you see the sun i see the moon but it's so Distance.